Apex Gaming here, and welcome to my first ever Destiny video. So, as you guys can tell by the title of this video, I'm gonna be showing you today where's the location for this week and the items that he has. And so, when you spawn down here, you just wanna go to the right. Go to the tower hangar and go up those stairs. And then you're gonna see those stairs. What you wanna do is just go down them and go to the right. He's gonna be right in that corner. And let's see what Zerg has for us for this week. Keep in mind that I'm right about what I need, so I must have very few straight scores. The nine wish to speak so to for this week Zer has for us for our titans out there he has the crest of alpha loopy so i have this chest for my titan i got it from an ingram um i haven't really tried it but i think it's like it's pretty situational to be honest like you could just use it you could just have it you know upgrade it to keeper of the pack and you know, let's say you know, like don't use it, just switch to it. If you have your, both of your teammates down in a strike or something, you know maybe a weak heroic or something, you just want to revive them as soon as possible so that you make sure that the boss doesn't kill you or whatever. Uh, it could help you out a bit. But well, other than that, I don't really use it. What I would really recommend for strikes when it comes to Titan, like go using the Defender Titan subclass and using the helm of saint 14 um titan helmet next up for our hunters out there we got mask of the third man he pretty much had this item up the first time he showed up in the tower and i haven't seen it since then uh, keep in mind that this one is for blade dancers only so if you're a gunslinger pretty much don't buy it unless you're gonna max out your blade dancer subclass you need a helmet for that so what the mask of the third man has is infusion replenishes health each time you pick an orb of light you pick up an orb of light <coughs> it's got switchblade increases melee attack speed it's got unstable current, arc blade uses less super energy, could be useful in both crucible and PvE, and more and more defense. And next up, what's probably gonna make our warlocks rage is that Zer has the sum breakers up for this week. Brand new warlock, level 20, 21. I mean, don't have an exotic. You're probably gonna be happy. Because it has a pretty good exotic for the warlock. But for our level 29 warlocks out there, uh, they're gonna be so pissed. Zer had this item for like a few weeks in a row. But anyway, so this one's for the um, Sun Singer warlock. So if you're a Void Walker, don't use it unless you know you're planning on maxing out your. Uh, Sunstinger subclass, or at least using it. And the upgrade that Sunbreakers has are that the Sunbreakers has are um, special weapon loader increase the reload speed of all special weapons of all special weapons. Serpent's tail, causing damage with a melee reduces your grenade cooldown. Helium cycle, increases the duration of your solar grenade and more defense upgrades so helium cycle if you're planning on pushing templar off you know before they patch it solar grenades you know longer duration on them could be useful for you um other than that i don't really i think they're pretty situational you know if you don't just use solar grenades then you're just gonna get more ammo for it sorry you're just gonna get 
uh, faster reload speeds for your special weapon and you know melee reduce causing it was a melee reduces your grenade cooldown so it's not all that great these are good upgrades but if you just don't like the solar grenade then this is not for you and next up for the exotic weapon of the week it is the truth ladies and, gen ladies and gentlemen um, I've actually bought this today I haven't really tried it out I just got my first upgrade on it so truth has for us for this upgrade we got hard launch more velocity and less radius increased recoil warhead verners verniers I think not sure how to pronounce that anyway more velocity and red and blast radius increased recoil and finally confined launch greatly reduced recoil significantly penalty to velocity <coughs> uh, next up choose has for us grenades and horseshoe and horseshoes Rockets from this weapon will detonate early based on proximity to targets. It's pretty good one. Next, um, more damage and javelin. This is the one that I'm gonna use, to be honest. This is the one that I'm gonna use. More velocity on this. This is gonna be really helpful. And we have heavy payload, increased warhead blast radius. Some people might like go for the blast radius, but it's not all that great, you know. You can see. Increase the blast radius by uh, no, a little amount. It's almost maxed out too, so doesn't really matter. And we got flared magwell, so I think the upgrade you want to use in, you know, in those three, you want to go for a javelin. And next up, we have prototype true seeker, and this one is pretty good. Rounds fired from this weapon seek their targets aggressively. This could be pretty useful in the crucible too for you know enemies run around the corner. Um I I'm not sure if the truth is as powerful as the Galahorn when you max it out. But yeah, I'm still gonna max it out and get a Galahorn because I don't have it, unfortunately. And I'm gonna try try them both out. I want to make you, you know, a comparison video for you guys. Next, and uh, we have more damage. Nothing else. And for the Ingram of the week, we have an exotic Ingram helmet. Um, pretty much I got a uh, a warlock helmet. Uh, I'm gonna show it to you guys in the end of the video. And for our cereals, we have. Scout rifle telemetry, shotgun telemetry, machine gun telemetry, plasma drive, vehicle upgrade, permanently upgrades and equipped wear sparrow to improve overall speed and durability, emerald coil, vehicle upgrade, a strangely tuned drive that produces a greenish contrail under boost. Permanently upgrades and equipped rare sparrow to improve speed and durability. So these are sparrow upgrades that you can use on your sparrow, but your sparrow has to be rare. So if you're wondering from where to get um, rare sparrows, I'm gonna show you where to get it in this video as well. And we have heavy ammo synthesis. Alright, I may. So if you guys are wondering from where you can buy rare sparrows, I think they're viable from Welcome Vanguard the Quartermaster, the Crucible Quartermaster. Yeah, as you guys can see, these are all rare sparrows. You can buy them and then um, upgrade them using the t using the vehicle upgrades. And now I'm gonna show you guys as well the stuff. Uh, sorry, the helmet that I got from my Orlock. I think quite a few people get the freaking same thing. Like there was the one time our entire fire team pretty much got the same item from an exotic and from there. Um, so this is the helmet that I got. A 
Polytheus's Veil. Right, it's a pretty good one. But I think I think Light Beyond Nemesis is better. I think they pretty much almost have the same upgrade. Hold off, let me check for you guys. Alright, Serpent Sail. Infusion. Yeah, Helm of uh, sorry, Light Beyond Nemesis Helm has that. And then immediately generates health on activating your super. Um, so now as melee hits replenish grenade energy, replenish health when you pick up an orb of an orb. Um, and we got activating your super generates your health. Oh. Oh, sorry, I <laughs> I just realized that I said Bonthesis Veil upgrades twice, I'm really sorry. Um, sorry, for the Library of Nemesis, we got Revive Teammates Faster, Spawn More Orbs, Increase Meal Attack Speed, Replenish Health when you pick up an Orb of Light. So, both helmets are pretty good. But, as I said about the Crest of Alpha Lupi, um, you can use Light Beyond Nemesis in the same way, you could use, you know, Apothesis Veil as your main helmet, but if you have your teammate, your, your teammates down in a strike or raid, and you know you want to revive them as soon as possible, you can just switch to this one, revive them, switch back to the Apothesis Veil, or you know do whatever you like. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much for that's it pretty much for this week and for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I'm gonna. I think I might upload an advanced warfare video tonight, so make sure to look out for that. And. Yeah, I guess I'm gonna